HIV and AIDS recorded for the BC Learning Network, www.bclearningnetwork.com. After going through this information, you will be able to respond to why learn about AIDS, what is HIV, what is AIDS, what is the difference between HIV and AIDS, four ways HIV can be transmitted, and how you can protect yourself from HIV and AIDS. Why learn about AIDS? The global statistics are staggering. Almost 40 million people now live with HIV and AIDS. 3.3 million of them are under the age of 15. In 2012, an estimated 2.3 million people were newly infected with HIV. 260,000 of them were under the age of 15. Every day, nearly 6,300 people contract HIV. Nearly 262 every hour. In 2012, 1.6 million people died from AIDS. 210,000 of them were under the age of 15. Since the beginning of the epidemic, more than 75 million people have contracted HIV and nearly 36 million have died of HIV-related causes. Canadian statistics show about 3,000 new infections per year since about 2002. What is HIV? HIV is a virus. The H stands for human, meaning the virus can only infect human beings. The I stands for immunodeficiency. The virus stops the body's immune system from working. The V stands for virus. It reproduces by taking over the machinery of human cells. HIV is a threatening global epidemic. HIV is preventable and manageable, but it is not curable. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. HIV limits the body's ability to fight infection. What is AIDS? The A stands for acquired. It is a condition that one must acquire. I stands for immune. It affects the body's immune system, which works to fight off bacteria and viruses. D is deficiency. The immune system becomes deficient as it does not work properly. S is for syndrome. Someone with AIDS may experience a wide range of diseases and opportunistic infections. So AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. After having HIV for a while, patients develop AIDS and have a very weak immune system. Patients are much more likely to catch life-threatening infections leading to death. People with AIDS can die from diseases that are usually not dangerous for people with healthy immune systems. The progression from HIV to AIDS. This is quite scientific. You don't need to memorize this or deeply understand this. That would require a university medical degree. Just try to understand the concept. So AIDS is diagnosed when your T helper blood count reaches 200 or lower based on a protein found on immune cells called helper cells because they send signals to destroy viruses and infections. And you have an opportunistic infection that takes hold. These infections are called opportunistic because they take advantage of your weakened immune system and they can cause devastating illnesses. How do you catch HIV that can lead to AIDS? Through bodily fluids, contaminated blood, body fluids, sharing razor blades, Intravenous drug abuse. Sharing needles can be very dangerous. Without sterilization, the chances of contracting HIV increase. Illegal street drug users are at risk when they share needles. Needles are also used for tattoos and piercings and must be sterile. You can catch HIV through sexual intercourse. And it can be passed on from mother to baby, before birth, during birth, and through breast milk. How does HIV and AIDS progress? HIV and AIDS goes through three stages. In all stages, people can infect others. However, for a long time, infected people may not even know that they have it. This means they can pass it on without even knowing it. Stage 1. Primary. A person may have a short flu-like illness that occurs one to six weeks after infection. They only have mild symptoms, and the infected person can infect other people. Stage 2. No or little symptoms. Stage 2 lasts for an average of 10 years. This stage is free from symptoms. Many people do not know they even have the HIV virus. There may be swollen glands and a level of HIV in the blood drops to low levels. Stage 3, symptomatic, meaning a person has symptoms. 
the immune system deteriorates and opportunistic infections and cancers start to appear. The stage four, AIDS. The immune system weakens too much. People catch infections and diseases due to a very weak immune system. HIV and AIDS are preventable. How to protect yourself. Abstinence, which means no sex or no unprotected sex. You can avoid the body fluids of others. You can avoid contact with contaminated needles and avoid sharing needles to take drugs. And do not share blades like razor blades used for shaving. Awareness is the key. There are no cures or vaccines. Awareness through education is the key to helping people make choices that prevent infection. Research in several countries has shown that well-informed young people are less likely to engage in behaviors that contribute to HIV and AIDS. This presentation on HIV and AIDS was recorded for the BC Learning Network, www.bclearningnetwork.com.